starters, my bag I think is one of the most important parts of my gear. Um, this is a Kata Bug 205 PL. Um, and the bug, I mean, that's what it is. You know, it looks like a bug. Um, it's hard as a bug. Uh, and it's, it's really practical and it's a great bag. And I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more about the bag. Um, okay, so on this bag, I've got a tripod holder right here, which is really great. Uh, I've used different size tripods. Um, this one is actually, it's a loner. Uh, this isn't actually my tripod. Um, I'm waiting for mine. I've got a three-legged thing on its way. Uh, but back to my bag. Okay, so bag has a tripod holder. Then it's got the strap that you can strap it on and hold it into. Uh, another great feature on this bag are the harnessing system. It's uh, really thick, extra grade rubber. And then you've got these straps are steel enforced, or I should say aluminum enforced, that are really great. This clips on, protects your chest area, gives me that extra comfort. This one flips around, also clips in, wraps around, keep the camera close to me, the bag close to me so I can move around easily. Uh, another thing that I love about it is that all the Kata bags have this standardized. Um, this is what they call, it's the insert uh, trolley. And they make this little extra uh, apartment to the back here where you can slide a trolley in made by Kata and you automatically have a bag that doesn't have wheels, does have wheels. So it, it's really great, it's easy. Um, and if for some reason you have excess baggage or weight, uh, you don't always have to have the trolley with you. Another thing is the back side um, has these little uh, protective areas and this cushioned area on your back and smile. Um, that's really great. Making it so that you've got extra protection, for, extra protection for your gear, but it's also a little bit more aerodynamic and more comfortable on you. Um, next is, I guess I'll start with the back portion of it. Um, this bag is great because I used to have two bags. I had a, a hard case, and then I had another backpack, and in my backpack I had all of my electronics, my hard drives, my computer, which meant a lot of times traveling um, in the US or even in Europe on a lot of low cost flights sometimes, you, I, I couldn't have two bags. You know, They'd force me to put one of my bags under the hull and it was a pain, I didn't want to put my gear and I didn't want to put my computers. So it was always very difficult um, to, to go through that whole system. So I, I decided it'd be a lot better to get one bag where I can do it all. So I have eliminated my computer bag and in the back of this bag, I now have um, this other little case where I can slide in my computer and my laptop, which is great. So uh, that's my laptop. I've slid that in, and I still have tons and tons of room in here for extra hard drives if needed, and I can slide in my um, iPad also. Okay, I'm actually going to slide this back in. Um, just so you guys know, we are actually on location, uh, so I'm sorry about the noise, maybe if there's a little bit too much noise that might be a little distracting, uh, but these are actual seagulls that you hear, it's the train going by, it's the boats coming up, um, it's the beautiful sounds of Lisbon. So uh, one of the things that I really love about it is that, uh, for example, this zipper right here is just an extra reinforcement that the bag has. and. Kata designed this, I'm not really sure how it works out, but it's a, a steel rod that goes through this flexible material that works as shock absorbent, and it also works to kind of protect a little bit um, the structure of the bag. It's almost like a dorsal fin of sorts. One of the things I really love about this is that instead of using a regular um, zipper, they actually have this little Kata design, more aerodynamic, uh, harnessing to the zipper lock and it makes it a lot stronger and a lot easier. So open her up. You can see I've got everything laid out. Uh, and I carry, since I travel so much, I really carry everything with me. This is basically my standard kit. So in here I've got a series of pens, lens cloths, and these are actually um, accessories for my lens baby lenses. Uh, 
I really use Lens Baby more to um, have some fun, but I'm working on a couple of projects, so I, I'll carry around my Lens Baby lenses all the time. I don't really use it that much for my commercial work. Uh, then on this side, I've got two more Lens Baby lenses, but as you can see, there's still a lot of room uh, in here. And then the main case here, I have uh, my uh, little uh, Think Tank card holder uh, where I've got all of my cards. Uh, I use Sandisk cards, Ultras, Extremes. I mean, I've got some of the older ones, some of the newer ones. I normally use a four gigabyte card, an eight gigabyte card, even two gigabyte cards. Uh, I usually use smaller ones because I like to separate my work almost as it were, as if it were shooting on film. And I'd only have one film with, let's say, 36 exposures to shoot on, so I'll use a smaller card so I don't overshoot. Uh, that's kind of a good way for me to control it. Uh, I keep all my cards here nice and safe. Uh, more battery chargers, more little accessories. Uh, fits in here all nice and comfy. And so this is all this, all this top part of my bag is protected but you can fit a lot of in, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, then my main bag, um, well, of course, I've got my camera of choice, my uh, Hasselblad H4D. Right now I've got an HCD 28 millimeter lens on the camera. Um, this is the 40 megapixel back. Uh, I mean, this is my go-to camera. She's my workhorse. Uh, I mean, it's just amazing piece of machinery, so there's not really much more to say. Uh, one thing actually I do like a lot, Kata sends with you, they've got this little, um, I'm not really sure what to call it, it's this little sponge type with Velcro on it that Velcros into your bag so that you can put your camera on it and it can kind of lay on the lens. Uh, but also if you're shooting out on location, you can place the camera on top and you can shoot with it or um, I don't know, to put your knee under it if it's kind of hard. So it's quite practical. Uh, you can use it almost as a little tripod so your camera doesn't move. It's like a little bean bag. We've seen my H4D. I also have my other lens of choice which comes with the camera. Um, this is my HC80. It's the 80 millimeter for the Hasselblad. Uh, again, you know, I love my blad. This fits in right here. It's great. It's all I really need and 99% of what I shoot, I shoot with these two cameras. Um, then I also have uh, a, a Canon. Um, you know, I, I've got a, a protective covering on it, and basically I shoot, uh, I use this as a, my third or fourth backup camera. Um, I'll usually rent uh, another Hassie as my second backup camera, and I use this as my third or fourth. I'll also use it as my behind the scenes camera. Uh, and there's also a lot of um, a lot of shooting with the lens baby and the creative cam creative lenses I'll do with this camera. Uh, so for that, I've got a 50 millimeter here. Uh, I've got a Kenko extension tube if I want to do some like macro stuff. Um, for this camera, I actually use my Black Rapid strap. Uh, it's it's a little bit easier to use uh, than my regular camera strap and uh, kind of falls to the side. Uh, Black Rapid, it's a great little company. Um, and, you know, it, it's an interesting strap. It makes it a lot easier, especially if I don't want a lot of stuff in front of me and kind of taking up a lot of room. Another thing I find really interesting is besides having all these different compartments and it, you know, dividing up like most camera bags would, would you'd suspect, um, they actually send you uh, two of these little packs and it has Velcro so it gets stuck to the bottom of your bag so it makes it a lot easier if you want to put your lens in it, take your lenses out a uh, little extra extra protection uh, if you have to give your lenses or take them somewhere you can just take this part out of it so it's, it's quite handy I still use a flash meter uh, you know this is a Minolta, it's a flash autometer 4F uh, I still use it you know, I don't care if I'm shooting on location, if I'm shooting in studio. Uh, I carry this still wherever I go. Uh, 
this is a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, I need lots of room for my really big files. And this is compact. They're pretty reliable. Um, so I always got a couple of these in my bag. Also, this is actually a little SB flash. Um, I've been testing it. It's a Samsung, interesting enough. And uh, this I usually use with the camera that's shooting my behind the scenes, uh, which is my little NX100. Uh, so I've got this flash, I've got the other flash for it. Uh, then over here I've got my um, Lens Baby Composer, which is a great little, little lens also. And this is really where I have a lot of fun with. So I've got my Composer, I've got some more accessories for my Composer. Uh, one of the little things I love the most about this camera bag is that I can go into it and actually grab out from the top of my bag um, my camera anything I need so it really makes it a lot easier so for example you know if it's raining or the conditions aren't that great I can put my camera on the ground and I don't have to open up the whole thing it's quick access um, I love that then in here it's you know safe I always keep a couple of silica gels in it just to kind of help out with the humidity this packs in, you know, my body and lenses are all separate. Nothing's touching on each other. I actually use this as an extra little protection cover right here. And uh, that's it, you know, I'm ready to go. She closes up real easy. Uh, bag also has this extra reinforced with steel um, uh, grabbing area. You know, this great harness to it. Lots and lots of pocket space. Um, I like the little detail with the red coming through, but it really doesn't look like a camera bag that much. Um, and it's uh, quick, easy. Got my computer in here. I mean, I really got it all. Uh, good stuff. So this is what's in my bag. Thanks so much, and I hope you guys stay tuned for my next blog post.